We thank you for taking the time to join us uh, for today's webcast. So our speaker today is Stephen Hall. Um, uh, just a quick, quick introduction um, of Steve. Um, so um, Steve is a uh, managing partner at ISG, formerly known as TPI. Uh, Steve has a great deal of experience in IT management and software engineering and, of course, in outsourcing advisory. Um, Steve's been running uh, TPI's application development and maintenance practice for quite some time. Uh, more recently has picked up as well some uh, responsibility for some industry verticals like automotive and telecom. Uh, but he has a lot of experience in outsourcing advisory specific to uh, the ADM area, and he's even written a book about it that you see here uh, on the slide. So I just want to first thank Steve very much for his time and for sharing his experience with us today. And without further ado, uh, Steve, let me turn it over to you to go through your presentation. Great. Thank you, Lev, and welcome, everybody. So, so as Lev mentioned, I'm the, uh, the partner that leads our ADM business within ISG. And uh, for those that aren't familiar with ISG, uh, ISG is a company that was formed by three of the market leaders in the space. So uh, TPI, who's, who's been the world's largest sourcing advisory firm for 20-plus years, uh, Compass, who's the premier independent provider of benchmarking, IT assessments, performance improvement for the, uh, the past 30 years, and STA, who is a, a smaller kind of independent uh, firm that was really specializing in ERP for the public sector. So the, the power of these three firms is really what the ISG brand is about. And, and really what it means from our perspective is the level of research that we can bring to our clients and, and bring to the space regarding not only uh, outsourcing in general, but, but general IT and even business process uh, capabilities. So essentially what we have is comp comprehensive expertise across a broad set of services. We can do it both for IT and for business support service areas. And the, uh, the nice thing about the research that we provide is the, the level of information that we have. So when we look at the outsourcing market, about 30% of the outsourcing deals that are greater than $25 million, what we call total contract value or TCV, are advised. Uh, of those advised deals, ISG does about 70% of those. So what that really means is it gives us tremendous insight into the market and it allows us to really look at trends as they're occurring and gets a, get a really good perspective. We, we also have data exchange programs with many of the major service providers in the market, so we get data from them as well. So we do a, a really good job of really keeping our pulse on the market and that's why we're able to have these types of, of webinars to chat about what we're actually seeing in the market and, more importantly, what that means to, uh, to all of us. So if we think about it in those contexts, let's take a quick look and go through some of the data that we've seen. And this is going to be a snapshot of the last three years, but primarily uh, the last half of 20 or the first half of 2011. It takes us a bit to get all the data and, and do it. So we just did the snapshot as, as of the, uh, the first half of 2011. So the first thing that you're going to notice on this slide is really for the last three years, the ADM only engagements have exceeded the number of bundled ADM awards by a two to one ratio. So the way we look at the market uh, when we look at individual services, ADM only would be a, a a outsourcing engagement where the applications development and maintenance was sourced separately from the larger infrastructure or ITO capabilities or even separately from the BPO business process outsourcing capabilities. What we saw kind of in the early 2000s, especially with the large outsourcing deals, was oftentimes that information was that the sourcing arrangement was bundled together. So somebody would get both infrastructure and ADM. What we've really seen over the last five years and is becoming more prominent is that ADM only engagements are, are sourced far more than the bundled engagements. What's more important in the real trend that we've seen over the last five years is the, the rise of multi suppliers and really multi suppliers are the new norm. So when we go into an engagement, when we talk to our clients, when we look at the broader space, what we tend to see is that many of our clients will have at least two to three service providers that are providing some sort of managed services or, or support within the application development maintenance world. 
So what that means is there's been a higher focus on how do you integrate across multiple suppliers from a quality standpoint, support standpoint, and what are the right strategies to go forward in a multi-supplier environment. 